Alright guys, Blender tutorial. Again, clouds. We love clouds, everybody loves clouds, so let's just hop right into it. So, first thing we want to do, like, come on, point light, no, nobody likes point light. So, uh, we're just going to import, uh, sunlight? Sure. Clouds are near the sun, kind of, so, sunlight, bam, let's turn this power up, baby, to get a little, maybe, like a, a yellowish tint because sun's like a little, little yellow. Alright, cool. Actually, nah, that's, that's, that's weird. Alright, and yes, let's save it. Uh, I'm just gonna name it Clouds Cluods V101. Alright, save Blender file. Next thing we need to do, make the cloud. Before I forget, um, change this to cycles. Everything looks better in cycles. Change this to GPU, even if you don't have one. Uh, 1024 is fine. So the more light, so automatically there's zero volume light light bounces around, so it'll look weird. But uh, the more you turn, it'll it looks fine with zero. Don't get me wrong, but it looks better the more you have. So I'm just gonna put on like eight or something. Some people turn it up to like 128, but I think it's probably fine. And uh, I think that's it. Make sure you have these on. Actually. You don't really need reflective, but I'm just going to leave it like that anyways. So I think that's all you need for the settings. Now we can just go to working on the actual cloud. So make a cloud shape. That's very self-explanatory. This is another tutorial that I'm making where you don't actually delete the default cube. But just go into face select mode, select some faces, uh, extrude them. Oh, I forgot I don't have that on. Okay. So basically all you want to do is just extrude extrude keep doing this till you have someone you like just mess it no mess with around make a cloud shape it's not that hard all right so made a cloud shape easy enough now to make it look like a cloud so just like go into modifiers make sure this is selected add a mm, subdivision service modifier let's turn that up a little bit uh render yeah, we go for the render two right here because we don't really need it. Shade smooth real quick. Uh, let's make a displace mod. Oh yeah, displace, displace, displace. That's the one. Because what we really need to do is give it that cloud texture. Because otherwise, it doesn't look like a cloud, right? All right, now this is very easy because there is a texture for the clouds. So just add a texture. Come down here. Change this to clouds. Wow. Very original. Okay, let's drag this up. Uh, when does it look good? Hmm. Maybe like, okay, maybe not 10, maybe like 0 0.75. That looks nice and messy, I guess. You know, I'm just gonna go with one. Very professional. You know, Maybe we'll just go with five. Uh, three. Okay, that's final. Anyways, that's what our cloud is looking like so far. Not very impressive. All right, but now time to make it an actual volume. Okay, so oh, let's go over here. Volume empty. There we go. See, it's right here up top right. Add a modifier. Mesh the volume. Choose your cube that we made. Cloud. There you go, and now you can see the volume. That's what it looks like. Uh, you want to turn this up to what it... Alright guys, just uh, change these settings, you know, however you want them. Turn up the density a little bit. I mean, you don't want them too dense, but uh, turn the voxel amount up. I mean, I think 128 is fine. It's a good uh, round number. And then you want to add your second modifier, the volume displace. Those are... You know, the only two modifiers you need to make a cloud, and those are the only two modifiers available. But, um, you should probably turn this strength up to, like, two or something. Uh, add a texture, you, you know, another cloud texture. Let's see, clouds. Bam. Now that's looking like some clouds right there. You should probably turn the size up, because that looks super... Nah, okay. So let's just go 0 0.8, see how that looks. 
Ooh, that looks that's looking all right here. Let's just I'm just gonna hide this real quick, so we can see the cloud itself. It's actually looking pretty decent. I think I actually um. I think I we probably turn this down a little bit, like 0 0.75. Give it a little more detail, a little more texture. All right, that's actually looking good. All right, now I need some textures, but actually. We don't want to see like we don't want to see this cube in our render, right? It's just it's just it looks weird. So let's press this camera button over here. If you don't have it, you can filter it in with these buttons and uncheck it so that you don't see it in the render. Because we just want the volume. We just want the volume of this thing. So select this. Let's go into shaders. Is that any material for this thing? Because you know. We want a cloud texture, and you know, gray is fine. You can make a dark gray if you want, like a rain cloud or something. I'm gonna make a white. You know, I don't think we really need to change anything else. So if we actually view it right here, you can see what it looks like. The computer's being super slow right now. I have so many tabs open, but you can see it's volume. Now our light is does not look very good because it is way too yellow. So I'm going to make it more white like that. And then I'm actually going to change it to like 5. Or, you know, maybe 4. Let's save our file. And we're pretty much done. Now all we need to really do is add a background, you know. So background is, you know, default is gray. We want to make it like a, you know, like a blue that looks like the sky. I actually, in my original cloud that I made, the background was a gradient of white to blue just to give it you know a little more detail but I think this is fine it gets the job done we don't want to make it too blue Let's see how that looks okay now I'm just gonna render it real quick just do a quick little render see how it looks alright guys so this is actually the first sample and uh... It doesn't really look like much you can't really tell apart from the background but I do think it looks like a cloud and I realized that I did not reposition the original camera so I'm going to do that real quick and show you the final result so before I mess up anymore I just realized how bad this looks against you know white against very light blue so I'm just going to change the color cloud to purple and uh, I'll show you Alright, so I fixed the coloring. I changed it to purple so you can clear, see it very clearly now. And I think it looks alright. So, this is the final part of everything. You know, this cloud looks complete. It looks like a real cloud. Except for the fact that it's purple. But, that is the tutorial, so thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, you know, hit that like button, subscribe. Thanks, always appreciated. See ya.